Whenever you have a number stored inside a string variable, you cannot perform any operations such as addition, multiplication, division, and so on. So in order to perform this kind of operations, you have to get that string and convert it to a double or an integer or a float or any kind of numerical data type. So let's see right now inside this onCreate method how we can perform that conversion. And so we're going to go and say convert from string to double. That's what we're going to be doing right now. And so first of all we need a string. So we're going to have string and we're going to call it number as string. And so we're going to set it equal to um, this value that you can see right here. And right now we're going to have also a double variable. And I'm just going to name it number as double. And so I'm just going to set it equal to double dot parse double. And what this means is that we're going to read a string as a double. And uh, this works only if your string contains a number. So if your string contains just uh, a paragraph, then it doesn't work. Um, so we're just going to pass this number as string and it will have our number as double. So um, if you, for example, want to uh, add one to this uh, number as string, I'm going to show you what happens. So let's say if you just say plus equals one, you will see that you cannot perform this kind of operation. That one is just going to be added at the end of the string. So um, let's see on the emulator what's going to be displayed. We are expecting to see 1 to 3.451. So that's basically what is on the screen right now. And also if you, for example, want to add that one after you just... Uh, just after you um, take this uh, number as double, then uh, let's say you just do a number as double plus equals one. And then I'm just gonna use this toast message. I'm just gonna take it from here. And I'm gonna display a toast message right now. And I'm gonna just uh, add this, uh, my number is and then I'm going to add the number as double and as you can see right now we can uh, I'm just going to show you on the emulator we will be able right now to uh, perform this kind of operation uh, that one is going to be added to the number so it's 124.45 and so that's how it works when you have the conversion from string to double. Now there's also something you need to be aware of and that is the decimal formatting. And so we just need first of all to have a number. So we're gonna have decimal my number and we're gonna set it equal to um, let's say zero point or just let's uh, use a number that's 123.77 or just uh, 775. And so right now what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a decimal formatter and I'm just going to call it formatter and I'm going to say new decimal format and then the format is going to be specified right here. Um, let's say this probably is the price of an item. So I'm just going to call it uh, my, uh, my price for item number one so let's say the price of item number one in an online store and so we're gonna do this uh, we're gonna format it as dollar sign and then we're gonna have uh, this kind of format where the hash represents just a digit so we're gonna go right now and uh, we're gonna say string and uh, this is um, just the price display And then we're going to set it equal to formatter dot format. And then we have to pass a double value. And so the value we're passing is uh, this my price for item number one. And so we're just going to use a toast message to display this on the screen. And so I'm just displaying right here 
price to display and I'm just running the emulator right now I'm gonna also zoom in right here so you can see what's gonna be displayed on the screen and as you can see that's the format in which we displayed uh, the price for our item and uh, you have to keep in mind that there is also one more type of formatting uh, it's called string formatting and uh, it's uh, basically we're using the string class and so I'm gonna have double let's say um, another price and we're gonna have it as 45.99 and then let's say a couple of nines over there and I'm gonna show you how to format it to only two decimal places I'm getting rid of this toast message so we don't have it uh, right there and right now what I'm gonna do is also I'm gonna say uh, into uh, number of items in stock so let's say we only have six items in stock for this um, for this kind of item in our online store and right now we want to display a string so we're gonna say um, message to display and we're gonna set this message right now and instead of just concatenating everything right here there is a more elegant way to do this and we're gonna say string.format and uh, right now we're gonna say local and I'm gonna use the normal java.util local and I'm gonna get the default now you can use uh, the local from your country or just get this one and then we can just format this just by saying my item has a price of and then you put the dollar sign and then you put a placeholder so we're gonna say uh, percentage 0.2f and that means there is a, a decimal number that has two decimal points 0.2 represents the decimal points and f stands for um, this uh, floating point number it can also be a double doesn't really matter and right now we have my item has a price of we display the price with only two decimal places and then you say currently we have only and then you put uh, you put this uh, percentage D to display uh, an integer or uh, just um, this number that we have right here and we're gonna say currently you have that many um, items in stock and after um, after uh, we finish this uh, sentence we just have to make sure that we have our numbers that we just replace right here so we're gonna say another price first of all so we're gonna put another price and then comma and we're gonna put uh, the number of um, items available in stock we just named it number of items in stock I'm just gonna copy paste it and put it right here and so as you can see um, this placeholder we're gonna be is gonna be replaced with this uh, price and this placeholder is gonna be replaced with this we use F when we want to replace with uh, floating point numbers so either float or double and you use D when you have integers or um, other data types that represent integers so right now we just have to display this on the screen I'm gonna use a toast message and I'm just gonna get this message to display I'm gonna run my emulator And so you can see right now was displayed on the screen. It's exactly what we expected.